it all began with the clearing of the land as you can see we had to clear everywhere we had to uproot some trees for them not to grow back because this area was very bushy very very bushy before we moved here but as you can see it is a lot a lot of progress and we are making great amazing changes yes it's a process it really is a process but the end justifies the means one thing that i had to learn through experience here in the rural in our homestead is that here in the rural there is always something to do every single day every single thing every single second there's always something to do channel so today i'll be adding some fertilizer to my maize since they're not doing so well to my corn as you can see they're not doing so so well they are they have really stagnated i want to add some fertilizer and see how it will go so here is how the process happens here's the fertilizer that i'm going to be putting I'm, I'm taking a small small amount and coming as I finish I go and pick some more as I finish I go and pick some more so yeah that is basically it for today there is nothing as more powerful as being able to produce the food you eat being able to take a seed put it in the soil and see it grow into something edible that is just so powerful and so amazing it's magical i really hope each and everyone gets to experience this kind of a lifestyle because it's a breath taking kind of life that each and every one of us was meant to have for sure the future is farmer. The future plan is to go organic, that is, produce manure from our own animals. But for now, we, we are going to use what we have and what is doable as per now. So, we're using the fertilizer from the agrovet, and uh, it has really had a good progress. African soil is one of the richest, most fertile soil in the world. And, but, but it seems in a situation where we're living in a place where we don't receive much rain and we have a lot of sun, we have to fasten our process and we have to use fertilizer to help us in getting good yields and good harvests.
for those who have been following us for quite a while, you know this has been our vegetable garden and it has been destroyed by the strong rains. This team ground we have received really good amount of rain. There's a lot of rain raining every single day. Yes, we are we appreciate it, but we have to redo our garden all over again and reset it because hmm, we didn't expect this. This tomato grew here accidentally and we just let it bloom, you know. Daddy. Daddy. Eish, I love myself a man who knows his way around the farm, around the garden. A man who can hold an axe, you know, a fork, you know, name, name it, name them. A man who knows what exactly he's doing. Anywho, thank you to my hubby for renovating the garden and making sure we are having enough produce for our household. Make sure you stay tuned and see how our garden turned out. <laughs> now it's time to spray the foliar to make sure our maize catch on because we planted a little bit late for those who don't know this is a pump it is what you use to spray pesticide foliar and so on for so guys this pump yes it's light but when you put in the water because you have to mix your foliar or pesticide with water for you to spray it becomes so so heavy and guys i know it looks easy and it looks all light but let me tell you do not be lied to this was a heck of a work that i'm well damn proud of this took me literally the whole day to be able to spray the whole farm something that will normally take someone who is used to this kind of work like an hour or two so yes 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 there's some things i did in between like cooking like taking care of the kids but oh man let me tell you this was so hectic but at the end of it all hmm, so worth it Oh my god guys and we came across such a big black snake that has two heads yes i said it, it has two heads like there is no big there is no end there is no tail it has two heads oh my god guys leave a comment and let me know have you seen such a snake before ever in your life or this is the first time you're seeing this kindly let me know and what is the name of this snake is it poisonous is it harmful or is it just um just a normal normal type you know 
but guys we had to kill it since we know you know humans in the snakes just don't go hand in hand so we just had to kill it and throw it away this rainy season we have been doing a lot a lot a lot of planting and this is one of the massive trees that we planted recently in the farm thank you so much for watching guys if you have reached this point oh my god you are a special someone kindly do not leave without subscribing like give us a thumbs up comment let me know what you think about our videos and what more you'd like to see on this channel share with your friends share with your family let them know how we live here in the rural let them know how this is the life you live this is the life that we are meant to live share 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 thank you so much guys till next time bye